This is Horskar's village, Delhi's artsy district. Home to me. But in the last few years that I have lived here, I have hardly spent any nights or days here. Instead, I have found a new home in GB Road, the city's red light area. There I gossip with the prostitutes, eat meals cooked by them and play with their children. The women of Kota number Tinso tell me things they don't even share with each other. They talk of their lovers, of the families they have left behind and they pester me to get married before it's too late. Together we listen to film songs, sometimes we dance. I wrote all of this in Nobody Can Love You More, the first book on Delhi's red light district. As I stand amid these ruins and look towards this placid lake, it is difficult to imagine that the world of the Kotas exists in the same city. The women, the pimps, the Kota owners. Is Sushma for real? She makes a hundred rupees from each customer and she cooks dal chawal for me on the roof of Tinsor. Rupa sends money to her husband in Bengal. He had abused her in the past. She had run away from him, but their relationship hasn't died. So Myra, everyone tells me you won't live for long. Meanwhile, the children of the Kota Malik think of me as their best friend. We watch Salman Khan movies and sometimes when we are alone, we talk of their mothers and why they do what they do. I did not just stay in the rooms where the women have to have sex with their customers. I stepped inside the secret corners of their world and found other realities which are sad. But sometimes also beautiful. I look for aspects that unite us with the prostitutes. Our desires and hopes, our absurdities and follies, our loneliness and our fulfillments.